Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today in the beautiful and very spectacular country of Bahrain here in the Middle East. And I'm visiting the military museum in the city of Rifah. This museum is located right next to the famous and very historic Rifah Fort. So let's go for a tour of this wonderful museum and let's learn a little bit about Bahraini and Arabic history as it took place here in the Arabian Peninsula over the last few centuries. Let's go for a tour. Let's do it. Now before we go inside this wonderful museum here in the city of Rifa in Bahrain, let's look at the outside of the building which is absolutely stunning. Beautiful Arabic architecture. One of the most beautiful buildings in Bahrain, actually. You can see the Bahraini flag on top of the building. Okay, now let's go inside and let's enjoy our tour. As soon as we pass through the reception area here at the museum, we walk into this uh, magnificent hall here with flags and large beautiful paintings actually depicting scenes battle scenes from the Bahraini history over the centuries you can see paintings there of two naval battles that's a battle in front of a fort. This uh, hall is decorated beautifully with flags and this uh, vehicle that you see here, that's a Land Rover made in Britain and uh, entered service here in 1980 and it was used by the uh, Sheik of uh, Bahrain for military parades in the early 1990s. And in this magnificent hall, we find dedications to the former rulers of Bahrain. This is the Hall of the Rulers. You can find the portraits right there. Now, without a doubt, the most famous ruler was Isa bin Ali al Khalifa, right there. He is the one that was born at the fort of Rifa. We cover that during my documentary of Rifa Fort. On this huge hall here on the ground floor, we can find reconstructions of the forts from around Bahrain. There are quite a few, trust me. In the last four days, I had the great pleasure of visiting at least two. And this is the one that is next door to this museum. This is the Rifa Fort or the Kalat Ar Rifa, or as it is known here, Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Fort, built in 1812. There is a whole video of mine dedicated to a tour of this beautiful fort. There are quite a few, but let's concentrate on the oldest fort. Which is right there in the corner. 
and this is the Bahrain fort just outside the city of Manama the oldest fort in Bahrain over 5,000 years old and it is an absolutely incredible site to visit and to tour built by the Dilmun Empire at about 2,800 years before Christ then expanded by the Greeks the Greeks arrived in Bahrain around 331 before Christ during the marches of the armies of Alexander the Great then occupied by the Persians eventually by the Portuguese the Arabs before the Portuguese in the 7th century AD the Portuguese in the beginning of the 16th century and finally taken over by the Arabs one of the most historic sites on earth and other forts as well which unfortunately I did not have time to visit but you can see how beautifully reconstructed they are here how much work they have put in reconstructing reconstructing every fort and there are photographs of each fort above each model now the horse of course has been a very vital element of the Bahraini and Arabic culture for centuries and uh, this hall here is dedicated to the different kinds of horses that the Arabs and the Bahrainis in particular used over the centuries here you can see how many different kinds of horses they used there's a name for each kind of a horse and they describe the characteristics of the horse as well and here's a fighter or a knight with his robe spear riding a horse and on this side you can see his sword right there and dagger so this is a very interesting hall to spend some time and reading and understanding the relationship between the Arab and the horse and how important the relationship has been over the centuries and uh, in this hall we find a collection of guns and arms that were used during battle here in the Arabian Peninsula over the last couple of centuries or so let's go look at a couple of the collections here and I will describe to you what they contain these uh, rifles that you see here were called Mukama M-U-Q-A M-M-A and they were used in battle here in the Arabian Peninsula between 1820 and 1870 these are German rifles purchased from Germany of course these are Martini Henry rifles and they were used in conflict here at the Arabian Peninsula after 1870 and finally here is a collection of very very rare rifles from the 15th century see how old they are. There are seven rifles here. Very rare indeed. Okay, I'm now on the first floor 
and this is the army hall depicting scenes from uh, battles by the Bahraini army over the years you can see the arms there the rifles and the machine guns used by the Bahraini army and walking through we enter the naval force hall here you can see some of the ships used by the Bahraini Navy and Coast Guard right there everything is so beautifully laid out and uh, everything is identified in English as well and from the Naval Force Hall we enter the Air Force Hall you can see models of the airplanes used or have been used by the Bahraini Air Force now in case you recognize that aircraft right there that's a Spitfire and there's an original Spitfire in the Bahrain National Museum here in Manama that's because the Bahrainis used the Spitfire during the Second World War here are some of the helicopters and some of the aircraft here used or are in use by the Royal Bahraini Air Force now you may have noticed this uh, curious part here in the corner of the Air Force Hall and uh, as you know the war for the liberation of Kuwait took place in 1991 and uh, not too many people recognize that Saddam Hussein fired a lot of Scud missiles not just against Kuwait but against Bahrain as well and this is a part or parts of one of the Scud missiles that landed here in Bahrain. And continuing on the first floor, we see a very large hall with exhibits of the uniforms from the Army, Navy, and Air Force. And if we go across the hall, we're going to visit the very last place here in this wonderful museum and this is the ammunition hall these are the exhibits of the ammunition used by the three armed forces over the years you see some missiles to my left torpedoes explosives of all kinds And finally, we are going into the room of medals of honor. Incidentally, as we walked through the last part, you heard the marching band. Let's don't forget, this is a military museum. That's it. Well, this is it guys. Thank you for joining my channel. I hope you have enjoyed this short tour 
of the military museum here in the beautiful city of Rifa in the spectacular country of Bahrain. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. This is Vic. Bye-bye.